these this root system has any relation with the leaves leaves way we have done one term that was venation yes what was venation venation is basically the pattern of the veins in the leaves right it can be either in parallel way or in a uh, messy uh, overlapping each other way okay so there are two types of venation that is parallel and reticulate i have already explained this very well in the previous video i'll link it up in the description below you can just check it out so basically what we are supposed to learn here is that what is the relation between this venation and the tap uh, and the root system right so you see uh, some of the plants have parallel venation that is the leaves are parallel that is this way okay the veins inside the leaves are parallel and in case of reticulate you see this is the midrib and these will be the uh, veins you know there will be no symmetry or no sequence they are just uh, overlapping each other and this way okay so this is basically reticulated this is parallel okay now we have to find the relation between the root system and the uh, venation right so we are going to do it with an example that is already given in the ncrt we are going to mark up the na uh, name of the plant and then we are going to define what kind of venation do these plants have and then when we, uh, then we are going to find a relation between which venation and which root system commonly coexist this is a table that is uh, we are just given in ncrt name of the plant type of venation type of root uh, this these are the some of the examples of plants i have mentioned okay so in this we are going to learn about what what is the relation between the venation and the root system right so first of all we are going to talk about maize paddy wheat bamboo uh, have you seen any of the any of these plants maize makkai corn uh, paddy rice wheat you each as a staple and bamboo have you seen this yeah so uh, what do you think is the kind of venation do these plants have parallel venation that is that means that the uh, veins in the leaves are this way these they are not overlapping each other they all start and end at the same point okay uh, so these are all the examples of parallel venation now what kind of root system do they have have you seen uh, in punjab which is very commonly seen the paddy and the wheat have you seen any of the roots no okay so uh, just check it out once they have fibrous root system what is fibrous root system that is it will start from the same point and it will form a bunch okay uh, it's got a very uh, good example to explain this is grass grass can also be considered under this example you have seen grass grass so you can uh, pluck out from any garden uh, you can see the root system will be fibrous okay on the other hand we have carrot rose and tulsi these are very different categories of plants right so uh, what do you think this these plants have venation as reticulate right so these plants have reticulate venation and uh, they what kind of root system do they have carrot you know what kind of root system carrot has tap root system okay so basically uh, we have taken different examples but we have just categorized in to uh, so as to form the relation okay so maize paddy wheat bamboo grass all of these have 
parallel venation in their leaves and they have fibrous root system. On the other hand, carrot rose tulsi, they have reticulated venation and have tap root system. So this is basically the relation that when the uh, leaves have parallel venation, they are, uh, uh, they are starting and ending the veins at the same point and they are not overlapping. Then the root system will be fibrous that it will uh, again be you can remember this from this point this is starting and ending at the same point similarly they also start from the same point okay in fibrous root system and in reticulate uh, root system the uh, the leaves are bigger one way rib and then these are all uh, starting and ending at different points right and they just form a network right uh, connecting different veins this way okay and in the tap root system is again this way one main root root and the other uh, lateral roots okay so uh, parallel start and ends at the same uh, and uh, fibrous starts at the same fibrous and parallel will always go together and reticulate and tap root system will always go together Right. So one point I need to uh, cover up is that we have done the roots, we have done the leaves, we have done the stem, we have done the whole plant as of the body. What kind of parts does it have? Okay. So these are very general discussions. Now we also need to understand about the importance of the roots. Uh, from the activity number six and seven, we understand that plants do require roots for all the nutrition uptake and everything right so when we are talking about the uh, uses the uh, requirement of root what do you think are the uses or you can say purpose of the roots purpose of roots so the first point under this will be that it is required for the uptake uptake of all the nutrients right and uh, minerals yes uptake of nutrients uptake of minerals and uptake of water right it is uh, helpful then the second point is for absorption it is not necessary that everything is provided as such to the root. It has to absorb through its root hairs. Okay. So absorption is done from the root. Second, third point uh, is that it holds the soil together and helps for the attachment of the plant to the soil. Holds the soil. Also, this helps in soil erosion avoids soil erosion right that is why it is said plant more okay so that uh, the roots can hold up to the soil and the soil is not eroded from any area okay next point is uh, uptake ho gaya, absorption ho gaya, holding ho gaya. it uh, provides support to the plant okay support to plant and what else does it do support karta hai plant ko yes it is providing support to the plant and it also uh, absorb uh, jo bhi, uh, whatever is absorbed in all the nutrients and minerals they are differently uh, spread up in different parts so there are some modified roots for example for example many uh, you know like carrot what is carrot or uh, turnip these are examples of stored food stored food is present in these roots they are basically modified roots where stored food is present and we directly ingest or we directly consume these roots okay so uh, these are the main 
basic purposes of a root it is very important for any plant to uh, have a good root system so that it can have a good growth and it can hold itself it can take up the support and it can hold the soil and also all the nutrients and uh, minerals and water can be absorbed properly through the roots okay so this is done with this root system we are done with the leaves we are done with the basic structure next on we will be discussing about the flower so stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next video